Only 30% of revenue leaders say their reps can differentiate effectively against competitors. Here's one way you can improve that, the value edge. Think of a Venn diagram. In one bubble, you have all of the things that are unique to your product or your solution in the market. In another bubble is your competitor's unique advantages. And the final bubble is what matters most to your prospect. Where all three overlap is product parity. This is where you'll likely struggle to differentiate in the eyes of your buyer. The space where your competitor's advantages and your buyer's wants overlap is the area that you need to steer the conversation away from. And the space where things that are unique to you overlap with what matters to the prospect, that is your value wedge. As a seller, ideally, your compete team has worked with you to define a list of seven to 10 of those unique differentiators at a high level. Then you can pick two or three that are most relevant to you to use in your specific deal. Let's get real with a fake example. You are in a competitive deal with fictional company Pied Piper. The prospect shares in an initial call that they are overwhelmed and don't know where to start. One of your unique advantages is your onboarding process and the customer's time to value. This is a perfect value wedge to anchor on. And it becomes critical in your selling motion. You could share a 30, 60, 90 day launch plan that guides your prospect and sets expectations. Or bring in a customer reference to walk through their experience during the onboarding process. Always tie these pieces back to what the prospect originally said was important to them. It's gonna get them to engage more, talk more, and remember your unique differentiation. When running your next discovery call, listen. Really listen to your buyer and map out what differentiators are going to be your unique value wedge in that deal. Hashtag get wedged.